Hello everyone and welcome to Cricket Team with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am going to be using Clear HTV to add a sublimated image. Now, previously I did sublimation on a 100% polyester shirt. I just added a butterfly to this Cricut brand shirt. I have also sublimated using um, Easy Subly and I used, I, a 100% cotton shirt with a butterfly image. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna use Clear Sublimation, uh, Clear HTV by HTV Run, and I'm gonna put another butterfly image on this dark shirt. Now I'm gonna to have to use a hack because Clear HTV is primarily used in place of Easy Subly or some of the other polycoated poly -coated sprays. So I'm going to be using a hack that I saw, um, that I learned about, and I'm gonna show you my full process. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Without further ado, let's look at the materials you'll need in order to complete this project. The materials I'm going to use for this project include my Cricut Explore Air 2, HTV Rot Clear Sublimation HTV, my green standard grip mat. The ink that I use is, I'm going to call it Hippo Sublimation Ink. I'm going to use my pen pan weeding tool if I need it. A sub sublimation paper, butcher paper, this black 100% cotton shirt, and I'm going to use my 15 by 15 clamshell heat press by Starcraft and my Epson EcoTank 15,000 printer. Okay, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to images and I'm going to do a search for butterfly. And I'm going to find one that is colorful enough and pretty enough to add to my black shirt. And I think I will do, I kind of like this one, but I don't like, when I tried to do look at that one, I didn't like the, I wasn't in love with it. So I have decided that I am going to use this image right here. I'm going to add it to my canvas and let me separate these. I'm not going to use this one, so I'm going to delete it. And I am just going to stretch this one out as far as I can while also remembering that the largest Cricut Design Space will allow for print then cut at the time of me filming this video is 9.25 by 6.75. Okay. Okay, so I can look over here in my layers panel and see that I'm still within the guidelines because I don't have a triangle right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add an offset to this butterfly and the offset will be changed to a basic cut and it will represent the clear HTV. So I'm going to go up here to offset. I am going to change the size of the offset to 0 0.08. I just want a very thin offset. I'm going to hit enter and click apply. And I'm going to change it from a print then cut to a basic cut. And I want the color of it to be this light gray. And then I'm going to select the whole thing again and add another offset to that. So I have the butterfly and the offset selected. I'm going to click offset again. And I'm going to keep that same size offset. I'm just going to click apply. And I'm going to change the color of that offset to white. Okay. And that is it. I am ready to click make it. I should have three mats, one for print then cut, one for my gray or my clear HTV and one for my white HTV. Okay. So I'm going to click, con well, first I am actually going to mirror my image here. I'm also going to go to this second mat. This will be my white HTV and I'm going to mirror this. 
and I'm going to go to my third mat, which is the clear HTV, and I'm going to mirror this also. I'm going to click continue. So all three mats are mirrored. The first thing I'm going to do is my print then cut. I'm going to click send to printer. I'm going to select my Epson EcoTank 15,000. I'm going to use system dialog. I'm going to click print. I'm going to choose that printer from here. I'm going to choose my preferences. And I am going to use my sublimation preset, no mirror. And um, you can, of course, you can do a print preview. And um, everything that I'm going to do from here will be back on the camera. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to get my paper loaded in my printer and show you what all of that looks like. OK, so I have one sheet of a sub sublimation paper. I'm going to put it in this back tray face up. OK, and I am going to click print and it will print and I'll speed this part up. So now that I have my image printed, I am going to put this on my heat plate and I'm just going to let the heat from the heat press um, dry the ink completely. And while that's drying, um, I will get the other two layers cut out, but I never skip this step. I always, as soon as I print a sublimation image, I always just put it on my heat press and just let it sit there. Okay. Let's move back over and get the other two images cut out. The first layer that I'm going to cut out is the white HTV. I'm putting it on the mat face down. The shiny side is face down and my image is mirrored. All three of my images are mirrored. I'm going to speed the rest of this up. According to the instructions that come in the package, the clear HTV is to be cut with the shiny side on the mat and the, the mat or the frosted side face up. So I'm going to put it on the mat in that way. And my image is mirrored. So the shiny side is on the mat. And I'm going, since I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2, I am going to change my cut setting to vinyl. So if you're using a Cricut Maker, just change your setting to adhesive vinyl, okay? So my image is mirrored, I'm gonna get it loaded, and I will get this cut out. I have removed my sublimated image from the heat press. I'm gonna put it on the mat in the same direction that it's facing in Cricut Design Space. And then I am going to let my Cricut cut it out. So this is an example of print, then cut. I'm going to change my setting for to infusible ink. That setting works very well for this. So right now it's on the vinyl cut setting. I'm going to change it to infusible ink. Okay, so according to the instructions, you're supposed to preheat pre your heat press. If you're using a large heat press, you're going to preheat it to 200 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So I already have a crease down the middle. I've already preheated this shirt, and I'm going to put the white HTV down first. And really, I should have... Put my set my heat press to a lower temperature so i'm just going to tack this down for about five seconds i'm not going to decrease the temperature so I'm just tack it down for literally five seconds and that might even be too much okay so i'm using the antenna to center it and i am going to use a teflon sheet on top five seconds okay all right that is perfect all right the next thing I'm going to do is place the clear HTV directly on top of this 
white HTV and I am going to press it for 20 seconds and it says that it is a cold peel. And the reason why I'm having to do this is because clear HTV is, remember, it's essentially for use on lighter fabrics. So if this was a white shirt, I would not need the white HTV. The white HTV is actually considered as a hack. Okay, so I'm gonna put a piece of Teflon on top. I'm gonna press this for 20 seconds. Now this is a cold peel, so I'm actually going to remove it from my heat press and I'm going to cool it a little bit. Um, I'm going to let it cool down. And then when I come back to the camera, I'm going to stop it while we're letting it cool down. When I come back to the camera, I'll place the sublimated image on top of this after it's cooled down. Okay, I've let it cool down and I'm peeling it back so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, I'm excited about this. I am excited about this. Now I have my sublimated image and we're going to see. We are going to, ooh. Now, one thing I think I would have done differently is I would have made the offsets a little bit smaller because I do feel like these are kind of big even though the vinyl did you know shrink a little bit I would have made it a little bit um, I would have made it a little bit smaller okay I am going to use a little bit of heat tape And I'm also going to use a piece of butcher paper. And I'm going to press this, according to the instructions, for 40 to 50 seconds. So I have my time set to 45 seconds. My temperature is still set at 392 degrees. All right, so here's the big reveal. color release it is completely out of there that is beautiful the only thing I would have done differently it was I would have made a smaller offset let's go to the table and let me give you my final thoughts okay so this is the finished product and what am I gonna say I love it I love it let me tell you though I wish I had done a smaller offset I want you to leave me a comment below though and let me know your thoughts so this is sublimation on clear HTV with 100% cotton. This one is sublimation using Easy Subly on 100% cotton. And this one is sublimation on 100% polyester with a just a Cricut shirt. So do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite process? I'll make sure all three of these videos I'll make sure these other two videos are linked below just in case you haven't seen those and you're wondering how I achieve these other two looks. Um, I do love the polyester. I love sublimation on 100% polyester because the ink is actually in the fabric. So I do love that. I love how vibrant this color is. I also love the Easy Subly. Um, and this reminds me a lot of Easy Subly. It feels the exact same as Easy Subly. Um, but I have been having a few problems with um, printing on the Easy Subly. And in my opinion, the Easy Subly is a little bit expensive. Um, I definitely uh, feel that um, the clear HTV Ront sublimation um, HTV is a more affordable way to go. Um, but let me know. Leave a comment below and let me know which one you love the most, which one is your favorite, which product will you give a, you know, a try. 
and which butterfly is your favorite. But at any rate, if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.